really like those little rubber hoses, don't you? They're a lifesaver, buddy, and you know it. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, we're involved here with something that a lot of you folks may run into at times, and that is you got a high mileage vehicle. This one in particular has like over 180,000 miles on it. Running pretty good, but you want to keep it running for quite a while longer. Sure. It's a little S10 pickup truck, got a four-cylinder Zusu motor in it. Like you said, 180,000 miles. We pull the spark plugs out. First thing you want to do is keep them in order and read the plugs. The thing's consuming a little oil, has a little smoke, you know, valve stem oil seals, a little wear in the rings. So we want to do something to try to revitalize it. Exactly. And a little tip for you here. Anytime you're doing this and you're removing the spark plugs, you'll get yourself a spark plug socket and a wrench to take them out. But once you got them loose, the easy way to get them out is to take a piece of rubber hose like we have here, slide it right over the end like this, and then you can spin them out. We're going to do a compression check before we treat the engine to see if there's any improvement. The right way to do a compression check is all four plugs out, engine warm. I'm going to disarm the fuses for the ECM so the injectors won't trigger. Okay. And you get what that? The other thing you want to do, too, is when you run your compression check, you want to write down the compressions that you read on here. What we're going to use is just a simple compression gauge like this. We've got the engine warmed up so that the temperature's up. And uh, this is what you're going to use. You can get these at any parts store. Well, that's pretty good compression for miles on this engine. Not bad, but you know, you want to take the plugs out and you want to keep these in order, which right. we've done right here. And you want to look at the tips. Spark plugs will tell you a lot about the condition of an engine. But on the number one cylinder right here, Sam, look, you can see a little bit of a coating on there compared to the others. That's probably where the smoke is. Now we got 150 pounds of compression on all four cylinders. That's real even. A little Azusa motor is pretty good. It's consuming a little oil, smoking a little bit, reading the plug. Probably got some scratches on the cylinder in the number one cylinder. Uh, could have a, a valve stem oil seal that's leaking. And you know, rather than tearing an engine apart, spending the money to rebuild it, found a product here that will re yeah. revitalize this motor. This is something we've run across, and we're going to give it a try, see how it works. It's called Exato, and it's an atomic metal conditioner. Right. It's a metal conditioner. It's ceramic. You add it to the oil, and you run the engine. And what it does, it's designed to fill in all the scratches and bond to the metal and build up metal anywhere where there's friction and heat. And uh, they say drive it about 1,800 miles. Especially if you've got low compression, it'll help to restore the compression. So let's give it a shot. We'll yeah. drive it, and then we'll, uh, we'll check it again. Well, David, that's out. not bad. It's got two cylinders that improved a little bit, and we haven't driven this very far, so we put some miles on it. We'll do an oil consumption check. Not and, bad uh, at all. Yeah, check it out. So we got what? One, uh, 160, 150? Yeah. Yeah, so we got a couple of increases in a couple of cylinders, so that's not too bad. So that ought to work out pretty well. Sure. Hopefully, we'll clean up the uh, oil consumption on number one cylinder. Maybe get that plug clean. We'll put some fresh plugs in it so we can read those and make it run a little quieter and smoother, too. Right. You know, and Exato's got some products for other things, too. Yeah, so here they have it for, uh, this is for transmission. automatic transmissions. Yep, it's a revitalizer for that. Comes a little syringe that you plug it in. And they got it here for, this is for the uh, gasoline LPG engines. Right. And, Sam, you're a diesel guy. Yep. There you go. If you got a diesel, it's giving you some stuff. Use the stuff to uh, seal up your engine, make it more efficient, and uh, hopefully it'll reduce some of the toxic emissions. All right, well. We've run out of time. We'll see you again next time here at Motorhead Garage. So long. All right. Now, what number are these plugs? Oh, we ought to put some new ones in there, yeah. don't you think? R44L.